Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development were to face sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? Hey! Medallion needs. You see, sometimes girls like other. Sorry to make fun of. The pilgrims left England for the religious freedom in Holland, where they visited coffee shops, and after they packed up their ships with plenty of coffee, tea, and cakes to liven up the trip, they set sail for the New World, which they heard had a magnificent roller coaster. Once they got here, they were very hungry, having been on a ship for 65 days. So they ate for three days straight. Thanksgiving quickly became an annual custom. America was founded by people who wanted a place where they could tell other people how to live. And I'm a history major. But do we have the right? The question, is it moral to celebrate Thanksgiving, a holiday that is clearly about gluttony, annoying relatives, and awful casserole? Well, I for one love a casserole. And at my weekly meeting, my congregation has a pop- What was that? That was a rock is a lot like life, Maurice, and that's the basis of my philosophy. If you put a bunch of leftovers from the fridge in a pan and bake it, somebody will probably eat it. It's like my book. You believe in your favorite sports team, then they get massacred. You believe in gravity, then it turns upside down on you. You love your favorite TV show, then the network ends it with a lousy finale. But you can believe in me, and if you believe in something, support it. It's one thing to love something, but if you don't shower it with money, then just don't talk to me. Communism, don't make me puke my guts out, please. Well, I myself love casseroles on Thanksgiving. And the way to teach your children the rich history of America is through theme parks. I just love Pilgrim World, especially the part where you get to slaughter your own buffalo and take home the meat, or give the locals the flu while buying their land off them for a pittance. That's what children need. Uh, uh, what is? Wholesome activities that benefit the family. And what good is it if a kid plays Degeneratron for five hours? Oh, sure, he's killing space aliens, thank you very much, but it ain't putting food on the table. And he's learning bad language, like When my family go out to dinner, we're starting... Hey, I gotta lay off the pills. I'm seeing shit. We build our own spears, smear ourselves in dung, and then wait in a swamp for something to come by. In the suburbs? I bet your neighbors love you. How long do you wait? Don't you get arrested? Hey, mister, I'm married. Look at the finger. It has a ring. I've got children. Gross, kill the Molly. Some piss and messing around. I'll bust your wise-ass toy. I tell you, I was a cheerleader and nearly a prom queen. And I could have married anyone, but I chose John. I chose him because he had a kind face and a rich dad. 
I didn't know he was gonna cheat on me or embarrass me. I didn't know. But I won't be made a fool of. I've got the children. Okay, Jan. It's okay. Men are idiots. Ask my ex-wife. <laughs> Don't worry. Stay calm. I'm not eyeing you up. But I am a little worried about you. How are the children? Do they enjoy school? Of course they do. That's precisely why I'm going to start homeschooling my children. High school is a cult. There's a group of savages that rule the roost and get all the girls and everyone else is picked on and abused. It happened to me and look at me. I'm a deranged mess and my husband cheats on me. I don't want my kids to go to a public high school. Instead, we have a prom each year in my living room. And that leads to my next question. People in high school in Chile are all naked. I've about had it with you, Barry. I try to be fair, I try to be kind, but you are a freak and a liar and wasting everybody's time. The organs below the belt are for reproduction and removing of bodily waste. There's no reason that when I go to buy a soda or a transmission, I need to be distracted by your privates dangling about. Now, when I go to the store to buy an air conditioning filter, I'd rather not have to look at your moneymaker, amigo. I'm glad you are proud of it. But when people of Vice City are in a quickie mart, they should be able to have a simple financial transaction without seeing your fire hose. Are you with me? Sorry, Maurice. That's okay. Just try to behave. I think the sun must have got to you or something. Yes, maybe that's it. Uh, Maurice, if I may, you have a fine show here, and, and I'm glad to be on it. But everyone within the sound of my voice and smell will die in the fires of doom. It is written. Do you want me to drill you? Newspapers are run by Canadians with an every way of life is threatened. We state to play golf, and I'll be damned if any weirdo hippies are going to tell us we can't fill in wetlands and make a home for ourselves, complete with 18-hole chap. Geez, glue, the price of tea in China. How can we raise children in this environment? My little boy asked me the other day, Mommy, are unicorns real? What am I supposed to say to that? Do I lie and make myself as bad as the boy's father? Or do I break the little boy's heart and ruin his life so that he ends up a nudist or a freak or something? It's a difficult question, Jack. A very difficult question. Is it right to lie? Clothes are a lie, Maurice. No, Barry. Clothes are a way of keeping warm and not getting arrested. No policeman has ever hit me with his trunch. I'd like to hit you back to hell, you sicko. Your filth. Human form of vermin. A blight on a fine society of picket fences and garden parties, and everyone coming three times a day to my statue to pay homage. Pastor Richards, as a human being, I have to say, I find your philosophy, or cult, or whatever it is, utterly and completely appalling. Why, thank you. Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. That's the second week in a row! Next? When the unspeakable... Oh. Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please see. Lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For this kindness, I'll reward you. And then... We will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk, probably. Use this. Pay for our heritage. That's all I ask for. Die, devil! Die! Ah, ow! Dios mio, you've shot him! There's blood and, and pubic hair all over the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, it is complete pandemonium here on pressing issues with me, 
the multi-award winning and soon to be executed Maurice Chavez. Harry, are you okay? Are you alive? Down there. Uh, do I have to? Can't you get someone else? Oh, my Dios mio, she's fainted. No, hold it. Harder. Oh, that's so good. I need my mouth. Maurice, please. I might die. him a sweaty dwarf. I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. No, I can't He's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball. <laughs> Let her away from me, you cheap bastard. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. I've wasted my life and my looks. Get out Stand of the way. Still and I'll make it quick. Hey, you Wow, thanks, Michelle. It is, isn't it? Before we let you get back to the show, I thought you'd like to know VCPR has managed to raise $30 this hour, which should keep us on the air for another 15 minutes at least. Thankfully, due to the generosity of the people at DeLeo and Furax, the fascinating show Legal Review will still run, but now back to the pressing issues. Actually, before we let you get back to the show, I'd like to say something. I know that public radio may not seem very important in an era of poverty and famine and immense personal greed, but I can assure you it is. And not just because I say so. Look at the facts. 15 of the last 37 American presidents and 47 vice presidents have appeared on... that a lot of people love to hear themselves rattle. Anyway, sermon over. I hope you folks at home understand how passionate we are about public radio, and it has nothing to do with the fact I got kicked off the networks. That was very moving, Jonathan. Back to pressing issues. Where is the creep? Put him on! social debate on free rate without you know, Patricia, when we're talking about perception how we perceive the world these are optimistic times we're living in a time of go-getters doers our hero is the entrepreneur the shaker and the maker Positive thinking we are told is everything. Think it, and we can do it. Or can we? Let's go. Fields. Your help in eradicating those out-of-towners was invaluable business. 
I have more work for you. With a more hands-on approach. Your next job is taped under the phone. I'll give you an elbow to the head. I can help everyone. For all the gift of communications. I can help you all realize that gift. Make something of yourself. Realize your dream. I'm like a high school counselor. I'll show you your potential. It's easy. All you have to do is follow my simple program on audio cassette or VHS. Okay, okay, not right now. This isn't a commercial. And if you're not going to underwrite the station, I can't let you read these patent plugs. People pay for that. Hey, everything in life is an opportunity. When I was in jail, I got the idea for my current business. And look at me now. I got offices in Vice City, Bogota, Lebanese, and Jamaica. If I can do it, I can help you make something of yourself. You could be just like me, a success. Hey, enough, enough, no more. Not a word from you until you are called upon again. It's a three-stage process. Learn, start, doing. Uh, shut up. a program, but with a beautiful message. So it says here, Vice City Civilian of the Year for 1985, Jenny Louise Pratt. Hi, Maurice. This is such a lovely studio. Thanks. How are you? Great, great. In fact, I'm fantastic. Did you see the sunrise this morning? It was gorgeous. I've been smiling all day ever since. so cheery if you have the black flag. Jenny's living in a fictional world. Gods like me, we see the world for what it is. Dark songs of the night, black nail polish, you very tight black jeans. Like, everything is great. Like, like, well, like everything. Constantino, you're shaking your head. I know, Maurice. Oh, yeah. uh She's straight wet right this going. time of the year. What? Ah, uh, come on. Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Quiz imperialist American pig. That is propriété de la gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American idiot. They followed you here. Shoot the bullet. Mr. Snell. Darkness is truth. 
I am very much like Vlad Dracula, born in 6 or 1431. <laughs> You're scaring me. I wish you would smile and be happy. Okay, right. This isn't going that bad. Look, um, Hey, can I say something? No. I'm still pissed off with you, you shoulder-pad-wearing shyster. Hey, hey, hey! Back down, Buster, before I bust your ball. No confrontation. As they say in the movies, Thomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Well, you're great, and I mean great as a public radio host. It takes a lot of work to be uppity and self-important all the time. Every cab I go in, the guys love you. Hey, thanks. Maybe you should just think, hold that thought, complete. I never had anyone complain about that. Before. Stop that! Hey, I engage. Hey, it's like winos and judges. What? Stop interrupting me. You gotta open your ears and close your mouth. It's very important. I tell my old lady that all the time. I say, hey, I don't want to hear no complaining. I come home with piles of cash every night, and all you do is bitch. The learning starts in here and ends when we open this. Doing is a whole other story, but we'll come to that. Now, all you have to do is call me right away at 866-434-SELF, and for just one month... Hogging all the action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Lord, but someone stole my radio when they killed my foster family. I hate everyone, apart from the undead. They're the only ones you can really get along with. Well, that's a start. But even you, Mr. Longhair and Tailskin, I can change your outlook. Guaranteed. That's so great! Like puppies! I saw some dead puppies once. Constantinos, I've noticed you have a lot of negative thinking. Why the goth lifestyle? Well, some say life is a tea party for zombies. Also, when you only wear black, everything matches. In fact, I'll keep wearing black until something darker comes along. It's a known fact that the best poetry is written when you're horribly depressed. Hey, listen, I wrote a haiku. Oh, the red daisy. Flowers retain all happiness. Sunshine. Yay! Sunshine! <laughs> you sound like you'd enjoy my program, Motivate. Demonstrate that motivate again. Nobody ever can. The positive outlook on life. It says in your bio that some awful things have happened to you. I don't think anything awful has happened. Must be called Tessa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. We'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard.
Si Carlos Diaz, Diaz and men are getting cut down. This is my show. Anyway, let's take a break. We'll be right back after this important information from Vice City Public Radio. That's pressing issues here on BCPR, Vice City Public Radio. If you haven't given money to BCPR and you're listening to the station, you are a thief. That's right, Michelle. You might as well throw a brick through the window and look. I live! Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy, Lance? performance block. Now, I'm running a debate show. Funny how things turn out, eh? <laughs> or is it? That's the question, you see. If we look upon life as a positive experience, do we make it any better? That's what we're discussing right now here on Pressing Issues. Free radio, free ideas. Just keep those donations pouring in. Don't sell out to corporations. We all need a voice. Really, we do. And today, right now, we're giving a voice to three very different people discussing positive things. A healthy... Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I asked that prick on set, he said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. All I have now is dickheads. Dickheads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. 